Welcome to my city scan tutorial. Today, we are going to show the difference between bolus tracking and test bolus. These are the two principal approaches in performing CTA. Before we start, let's have a brief information about each technique. Bolus tracking. Sequential axial slices, at a set region of interest, are conducted during the contrast injection, until the threshold enhancement, is met. Test bolus. A small test quantity of contrast, is injected in sequential axial slices, at a set region of interest, are required to calculate the time, a pip contrast enhancement, and determine an optimal scan delay. Let's begin with bolus tracking. These are the series, or steps, in this technique. We have, the topogram. Pre-monitoring. Contrast. Monitoring. And, the final acquisition. Let's start, with pre-monitoring. After taking the topogram. This is where you scan for the ROI. We will take one scan on a specific area, where, we monitor the filling of contrast. Next step, we have the contrast. This is where you find the trigger option. You can set the trigger manually, or auto. In auto trigger, the scan will start automatically, when the hounds field unit, is reached. If disabled, we will manually scan, when desired hounds field unit, is achieved. Then, we have the monitoring. Here, we will set the delay scan for the monitoring. When contrast injection has been started, it will not enhance the ROI directly. Setting delay scan will prevent unnecessary exposure to the patient. In this option, you can set the cycle time of the monitoring. This is the interval time in the sequential scan of the monitoring. And finally, the acquisition. When desired enhancement from the ROI has been achieved, scan manually or automatically for the final image. Now we're done with bolus tracking. Let's proceed to the next technique. Test bolus. In this technique, we have the topogram. Control scan. Contrast. Test bolus. Another contrast. And the final acquisition. Now we will move to control scan. This is where we scan our area of interest after taking the top drum. This step is the same as the pre-monitoring and bolus tracking. Then we have the contrast. These contrast steps are optional. We add it to record the name and amount of contrast given to the patient. Next is the test bolus. This is where we are going to give a small amount of contrast. The scan area of test bolus must be the same with the control scan. After the contrast has been given, we monitor the area of interest as it started filling. Setting the delay scan will prevent unnecessary exposure to the patient. This delay scan is also important in calculating the time for the final acquisition. A software is then required, to calculate, the time of PEEP enhancement. And now, for the final acquisition. After the time of PEEP enhancement, has been calculated, set it on the delay scan, for the final image. And that's the test bolus technique. Now we learn the concepts of both techniques, we will apply it in actual examinations. We start with a bolus tracking examination. First, take top gum.
Now, we are going to set the area of interest, for the monitoring. This is a one slice scan, to show the ROI. After taking the scan, click on the area, to put the trigger, where you want your ROI. Now in the contrast step, you can see that we disabled, the auto trigger. And we have the monitoring. We are going to set the delay scan to 15 seconds. Now, we are going to adjust the parameters. When everything are all set up, click accept. Press the scan button, and injector, at the same time. Once scanning started, focus on the area where you place the trigger, and monitor the filling of contrast. Here we see Hound's field unit, arising. Wait until you reach the peak enhancement. When Hound's field unit is reach, or there's a good filling of contrast in the ROI, press the scan button again, since we disable auto trigger. Acquisition done. This is the bolus tracking technique. Now, we will move to the next technique. Test bolus. First, take top drum. Now, in control scan, place the parameter in the area of interest. Same as the pre-monitoring, take one slice scan of the area. Unlike the bolus tracking, in this image, we will not place any trigger in the area of interest. Make sure the test bolus parameter is at the same level of the control scan. Here we are just going to set the amount of contrast we will give to the patient for the test bolus. Now, we will set up the timing for the test bolus. We have, 5 seconds delay scan, and a 1 second cycle time. When everything is ready, click load. Press the scan button, and injector, at the same time. Monitor the area of interest, started filling with contrast. When area of interest reached good enhancement, or the contrast is already fading, stop the scan. Now, we will proceed in calculating, the time of peak enhancement. Input the time here. Must be the same as the delay scan and test bolus. Now, scroll the test bolus images, and choose the image with good enhancement. After selecting an image, place a marker on the area, with good filling of contrast. This is the result, of calculation of time of peak enhancement. We have 10 seconds, with a hence field unit, of 254. For the final acquisition, we will set the delay scan to 10 seconds. Now, we are going to adjust the parameters, for the final image. Again, in this optional step, we will just set the amount of contrast, we will get for the last acquisition. 
When everything is set up, click load. Press the scan button and injector at the same time. Acquisition done. This is the test bolus technique. That's all for our tutorial about bolus tracking and test bolus technique. Hope you gain knowledge from this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more city scan tutorial. Thanks for watching.